Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Top 10 Strangest Christmas Foods. There are so many Christmas and festive time traditions the world over, and nowhere is that more obvious than in the culinary arena. While a Christmas Day turkey with all the fixins may be normal to some, when it comes to Christmas food, there is a lot more to digest. Here's our top 10 strangest Christmas foods from around the world. Number 10. Brussels Mole In winter 2015, iconic British retailer Marks & Spencer unleashed a unique Christmas food upon an unsuspecting world. Its name, Brussels Mole. Its game, recreating the magic of guacamole, except with Brussels sprouts instead of avocado. Brussels sprouts are, quite notoriously, the worst vegetable in the entire world. Why on earth someone would want to market a dip made from the things, let alone market it at Christmas time, a time that's supposed to promote peace among all men, is a mystery to us. Number 9. Smell of Hob Time to cross over to Norway home to the fjords, the vikings, and a lot of heavy metal. And what's more metal than celebrating Christmas by sticking a lamb's head in the middle of the dinner table? Yep, we're talking a genuine sheep's head. Actually, smell of hob is today considered a bit of a delicacy, and given that the other parts of the lamb tend to taste pretty darn good, maybe the Norwegians are onto something here. You can boil it, steam it, or smoke it. You can cook it with or without the brains. No matter how you partake in smell of hob, Christmas time is the most popular time to do it. Number 8. Coal Candy We all know that naughty boys and girls are supposed to find coal in their stockings on Christmas morning. Well, in Italy, someone took this idea to the next level and ran with it. Carbon Dolce is rock candy that looks suspiciously like coal. Luckily for the recipient, it tastes significantly better than its lookalike. Number 7. Jansen's Temptation Temptation, huh? Sounds good. At least until you learn that this unusual Swedish gratin dish is built on a foundation of potatoes, onions, and anchovies. Described by those in the know as creamy with a hint of the ocean, this very fishy meal is a Christmas favorite in its home country. And who's Jansen, you ask? While there is some disagreement as to his identity, most suggest that the dish may have been named after celebrated Swedish opera singer Helle Jansen, a well-known foodie. Why he was so tempted by this gratin is another mystery altogether. Number 6. Mince Pie Popcorn we're heading back to England now, because where else in the world would you think it was a good idea to combine mince pies with candy popcorn? So who came up with this idea? Joe and Seth's, England's favorite gourmet popcorn makers. Yes, gourmet popcorn making is a thing. Coated in caramel, brandy-infused fruit and almonds, the popcorn apparently has the undeniable taste of the classic Christmas mince pie. But that doesn't necessarily sound like a good thing to us. Number 5. Mexican Radish Two days before Christmas every year, the denizens of Oaxaca, Mexico get to work presenting the very best Christmas-themed radish sculptures they've managed to whittle. This strange Christmas food tradition is less about eating the food and more about making it into art. Known as the Night of the Radishes, the event traces its history back to the colonial period, and in 1897 it was formally named a yearly competition. Today, aspiring radish sculptures battle it out for a variety of cash prizes. Number 4. Reindeer Meat in a Can It's time to get real, all too real. We're not against the eating of reindeer per se, venison is purportedly a very tasty meat. Perhaps it is a bit on the nose to serve up at Christmas time given the reindeer's status as Santa's four-legged mate, oh but really, it's the whole in-a-can business we're having difficulty with. This finished dish is one we might have to give a hard pass on. Number 3. Kentucky Fried Chicken Japan doesn't really celebrate Christmas, but in 1974, a Japanese advertising agency celebrated its ability to convince the entire population that one should enjoy Kentucky for Christmas. Kentucky Fried Chicken! Banzai! 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 
the campaign was so successful that to this day, if you find yourself in Japan with a craving for KFC on Christmas Day, you're gonna wanna hope that you pre-booked. Many actually order their bucket of KFC chicken months in advance, just so they can avoid the lines on the big day. Perhaps it has something to do with turkey not being widely available in Japan. Whatever the case may be, there's no chance KFC is going to question it. Number 2. Mapain, aka fried worms. Mmm. A South African dish, mapain is a traditional Christmas feast built on a foundation of fried emperor moth caterpillars. It's packed with protein, but the jury's out on whether it is any good taste-wise, with some calling it a delicacy and others calling it, rather derisively, bushmeat. Number 1. Kiviak. Just because something takes a long time to prepare, it doesn't mean that the end result is worth the wait. It's certainly worth writing home about though, which is why Kiviak is number one on our list of strange Christmas foods. Greenlanders celebrate Christmas with a series of traditional Inuit dishes, the most remarkable of which is Kiviak. The cooking process begins seven months before the feast, when a seal skin is hollowed out and stuffed full with ox, a small seabird. As many as 500 ox can make their way into the cavity, feathers, beaks, talons, and all. Then the carcass is sealed up with grease, covered with a heavy rock, and left to ferment. Seven months later, Christmas dinner is served. No, we didn't skip a step in the cooking process. Merry Christmas, everyone! Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe.